Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen the basic test case for this to do class and all the test cases were synchronous because what we are doing is uh, adding completing the to do. Now we want to do a something asynchronous here and that asynchronous is okay let's do uh, one thing let's save the to do content to a particular file. Let's say something like this okay and we are going to use fs module from the node.js to save the file to a to save a file content so what we can do is const fs we can use this module require fs okay now in save to a file whenever you call this particular function whatever the content we have in the file in the to do's we are going to store that into a file okay so let's say this is the content we have this is our initial content so what we are storing is title and the completed title and completed status we are storing inside a file this is the first line and now what we will do is this dot to-do's we can do a for each loop so that we can get each and every to-do item so here we have each and every to-do item we will get it and we will create our final content content equal to our existing content plus the new content which we are adding so here we know what we need to add to do dot title comma to do dot completed this is a status completed forward slash n right once we got the the final content we can do fs dot write there is write file now we have sync async all these functionality we will do a write file which uses the callback based approach and let's say to do dot csv is the file name this is the file content we have this is the content and this is the callback okay now we have written a save file which is using callback how can we do the testing for this now before writing the unit test what all things we need to make sure we need to make sure okay to do has some items file really exist there and then we are doing a content we are writing a content to a file okay let's go to our spec now i mean there are many ways we are just trying the callback based you can also promiseify the fs module and you can just use the the promise way of writing a file using write file sync async all these functions let's try first with the callback here uh, let's copy this describe block copy this page in the describe block and here what we are doing is this is the save file function okay we are executing save file so we have to do content same as earlier the only thing is now we are going to write this to a file okay so first we will try with the callback based approach so we have to use this to do as a callback okay and then this is a to do is an object what we can do is to do dot save to a file okay and we can just check if error occurs otherwise we can do all different kind of assertions here okay here we can see expect uh, we can use fs dot fs is a module which we need to import const fs equal to require and then we can just we can just assert if this file really exists so exist sync and we can say to do's dot csv the same file name if this exists that means it will return as a true okay now we can also expect a content what all content we are going to get 
so that we can achieve okay tile completed here now the content will be like this because the string is one false and when we are reading a file the content should be same as the expected content right so our test case will become expect expected content dot two dot equals content right this become a test case and we are done here done with the callback this is the one way because oh sorry this is the one way because we are using a callback based approach right now same logic we will twist this logic a little bit what we can do is let's do it we are using asynchronous way of doing it dot to promise i think then i should be able to write fs dot write file and this should return me a promise this is fine right uh, this is a particular function we can even return this either it will be a resolved promise or a rejected promise we don't need to worry about callback okay so now we can write this whole section as a new brand section because this is not the, the way we are writing now we need to revamp this whole section now what we are doing is to do first of all we are going to use async await now because this function is returning a promise and we can just say async save file okay to call this we have to just change this function okay just put async here this is our function right and what we are doing inside it is we added the to do item to do dot save to a file we can await for it const result equal to await to do dot save file right a it should return as the content which has been written to it right and then we can just do the same thing uh, call expect so this is our expected content from this file and we can also read the content from the same file to do dot csv so the content should be equal to this this is the result we are getting i mean uh, when we are doing a save file it is calling the write file function in write file doesn't give us the data i mean it's like a promise void so we can read the file again we don't need to worry about the result we can read the file again and we can assert it okay so this is just uh, another way of writing async code either using callback or either using promises once the function start returning a promise you can just use async wrapper we don't need to worry about the done callback at all because now this is async function save file is returning a promise it will await here now we can read the file content right the file content should be one false then to do dot csv this file is in i think in the current working directory we can create it uh, this is in the to do's to do's dot csv and i think this is where we are reading this we are writing it so this is particular thing we need to take care we have to put it uh, somewhere global so that our test and source code can use it differently otherwise we don't need to worry about it uh, what we can do is this uh, csv we this is csv related to the code so we can put it in the library okay now for the testing you can have your own csv created here okay and we can just do the testing